little over a year ago, Renee Couture, who is my nurse in the evenings, is also a fine artist. And she went on vacation, and she happened upon a place in New York that she had read about, and she was very enthusiastic about it because they used art in their rehabilitation for people with brain injury and spinal cord injury and stroke. And she had read about it and she told me that she was going to be taking a vacation with her family and going there and would stop by and gather information. Well, she did that and she came back very excited and said, can we do something like this? And I said, absolutely. So we started it small. We started as a pilot and we had three or five people originally painting, people who were interested in that. And it was going so well that we expanded it so that we added another three to five people. So overall, it's had 11 residents who are participating out of 34 people. And we're very excited about it because people are growing as artists and doing great stuff. I've been doing art since um, I was a child. Um, I got more involved in it in high school and then uh, college. I think there's a growing movement that's starting where the importance of art and how it, it helps to heal. There's something about painting, especially I think, that the effect of it on the, on the brain that's so important. They come together and we have the tables set up for them and there's music, which is very important that's um, just as important as the paint. I talk a lot about dancing with the music. They can't literally get up and dance, but they can dance with their mind and their arm, you know, using the energy through their arm and to get the feeling of dancing while they listen to the music and they paint. We talk about um, the same things we talk about in our class. Um, they're taught any, everything that an artist would learn in our class. Any small uh, uh, improvement, no matter how small it is, is important. For example, uh, one individual started just making very small half-inch lines, but we just kept putting the pencil in her hand, and, and every mark she made was important. Every mark is important until finally we advanced to putting a brush in her hand and putting the canvas in front of her, and then there was a lot of hesitancy. This is one that was an artist before, and um, she was ready to go to art school. It was a very slow process, and then she started on the corner of the canvas and just barely would move her hand, and every day when she would come, we'd put the brush in her hand and do it again, you know, and slowly. And now she completed one whole canvas and she's able to mix her own paints now. It's not about making things, um, you know, like a t perfect, you know, in every, it, that it's about what the feeling is behind the mark and the energy of that mark and we talk a lot about that in class. And once they realize that that's their mark, that they're the only ones that can make that, that's where they gain confidence and they just really get energized by that. To get that on the canvas, and if the, other, if the viewer sees that and has um, a reaction to it that's either positive or negative, it strikes something in them, the viewer, then I think that that's good art, you know, and I think a lot of this work does if you look at it. Every day, it's, when we come to painting class, we don't know what's going to happen. And every day, every painting class, there's always been some, something new uh, that's been accomplished or a breakthrough, and that just really energizes us. And, and the residents and to be able to share that with a wider audience. It's a privilege 
to be able to offer this opportunity. It's a privilege, I know, for Renee. That's what she tells me. Um, it's a privilege to be able to invite people here to say, look at the work that these people are doing. They've had tragedy in their lives, but they're overcoming that. And that's very exciting. Thank you.